Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming out. It's Major League Baseball's opening day. And before anyone could even steal a base, a valuable piece of baseball memorabilia has already been stolen. Right? I don't know if you saw this, but on Saturday, two thieves robbed the Make-A-Wish Foundation office in San Francisco. Oh, I know. <laughs> and they made off with a scooter signed by San Francisco giant Hunter Pence. Right? You whoop, yeah. Did you steal it? <laughs> but here's the thing, this, this isn't even the first time this has happened. The Make-A-Wish office has been robbed twice now, right? I think someone needs to wish for a working lock. <laughs> Although, I feel like someone should tell these burglars that it really is just an office building. They don't keep actual wishes in there. <laughs> so there's not a magical filing cabinet full of trips to Disneyland. <laughs> no, I'm saying there isn't. <laughs> And Johnny Depp isn't just sitting there in the corner dressed as Captain Jack Sparrow <laughs> in case a kid pops in for a visit. I mean, he might be. I've never been. But uh, <laughs> the only way these thieves wouldn't be terrible is if some sick kid was like, I wish someone would rob the Make-A-Wish Foundation. <laughs> but this isn't the only childish crime in the news right now because a man in New Orleans could be facing a life sentence for stealing $31 worth of candy from a drugstore, right? This is absolutely true. This is due to Louisiana's repeat offender law, right? Because he's had previous convictions for shoplifting at Rite Aid and Blockbuster Video, right? I want to say, <laughs> first of all, if stealing candy is this illegal, 12-year-old me should have gotten the electric chair. <laughs> You know, uh, but this whole situation seems ridiculous because in the first three months of 2016, there were 31 murders in New Orleans. But this guy they caught. Like, <laughs> maybe take some of the cops from the candy unit and put them on murder patrol. <laughs> and, like, I honestly, I, I just, I'm crazy. It seems so nuts. But I really, I feel for this guy, like, that has got to be a tough conversation once you're in prison. Do you know what I mean? Someone's like, yeah, I'm in for armed robbery and arson, what about you? Um, oh, you know... <laughs> I put, you know the new peanut butter Twix? <laughs> Do you know what, let's just skip to the part where I'm your girlfriend. That would be easier. <laughs> <laughs> but he hasn't been convicted yet. I, he, he hasn't been convicted yet, and I bet this guy is just hoping the judge in the trial gives him a break. <laughs> gives him a break. Breaks him off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Thanks. Um, but the truth is, judging by the news, it seems like there's a crime wave, right? Because, but don't worry, help is on the way, because recently in England, two criminals were foiled by a group of kids on an Easter egg hunt who, and what they did, is completely true, they formed a human arrow in a field <laughs> to show a police helicopter which way the robbers had run. <laughs> right? I mean, I'll be honest with you, that's the nerdiest thing I've ever seen <laughs> a group of children do, and bear in mind that I was a musical theatre kid. <laughs> But they are so good. Look at that picture again. They are so good at making the arrow. <laughs> how do they even know how to do this? Are they like, guys, this is not a drill. This is what we've been practicing for. <laughs> Get down. Oh, no. He turned slightly left. Correct, 30 degrees. Like, in the end, these kids, they showed great bravery, although, I honestly, I don't have the heart to tell them that there is a much easier way to make a human arrow, just that. <laughs> oh, even that way. That's it. Look, all around.